Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, another great trailer out today. This is Namco Bandai's Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Alright, I'm not 100% sure if this one is going to be like Destiny where it's going to have uh, multiplayer. They said team up, but I'm guessing that's with just uh, actual AI characters. You don't actually see like player two or player one or uh, a username in, in the actual gameplay, but what you do see is you see Trunks or Gohan or Goku. So I don't think it's multiplayer per se. I do know through a little uh, research that there is going to be a hub world, kind of like, um, uh, I'll bring up Destiny again, kind of like Destiny has the tower where you can go see everyone move around. There are screenshots and I do believe a video of some sort of hub world where there will be interactions and you can buy certain things and actually run around so it's gonna be like sagas running around but I think just the story mode wise it's gonna be just like any kind of Tenkaichi it's just gonna be where you're gonna fight um, I'm actually excited about this one it's coming out for all platforms it's coming out except maybe we I don't know towards the end you'll see how many it's coming out for it's both last gen and this gen I think Steam's gonna have it uh, from what I can tell so far, uh, you're going against uh, the enemies again. I mean, it's it's kind of been played out a lot, but the introduction, uh, the introduction of the uh, the two new, the time bandits, uh, that might be interesting to have to replay the story you already know, but just a tad bit differently. That might be interesting. Uh, Character-wise. They just uh, show uh, the Saiyan subclass, uh, or human slash Saiyan subclass. I do know you can be a Namek and a Boo. Uh, from character design, you can be a girl or a boy. Um, I'm guessing you're going to have to level up and purchase stuff. I mean, there has to be some kind of level, level progression. You just can't come out with the ultimate moves right away, because that would just be... I mean, if there's gonna have, they're gonna have character progression in AI. They're gonna have character progression in your actual character. So uh, uh, I saw a screenshot in this hub world where you do have to buy moves. I don't know how you're gonna get that. I don't know if there's gonna be any online content for besides the hub world. There might be versus like multiplayer. I'm not 100% sure. Nothing's been seen to that. I, uh, besides that, the characters are looking good. The action looks good. And this twist where uh, time is being manipulated and the story is being uh, altered, it kind of reminds me of, uh, I think there's a fan fiction of the Dragon Ball Z where it's called like alternate timeline or something. Uh, that's that's going to be interesting. Uh, they show Frieza, they show Cell, they show Majin Buu, and they show, what is it, Lord Bill, Bills. Uh, the one from Battle uh, of the Gods, and they even show Goku as God, uh, Super Saiyan God. Uh, I, I, it looks good. It looks interesting. I don't know if there's going to be enough if there's no multiplayer. I know uh, this game follows the same format as the others, where you just go through story mode. Is the alternate version of the story mode going to be enough to make up for repetitive gameplay? I don't know. I mean, I have Tenkaichi, I have all the Budokais, I mean, I've played almost anything DBZ because it's one of my favorite animes, but is it enough, is there enough nostalgia in this game to bring me back to another time? I'm 50-50. Looks good, alternate storyline could be interesting, uh, new characters, the hub world where you can interact looks cool, I just don't know if it's enough to bring me back. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more trailers. Get the exclusive day one edition featuring bonus download code for Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and two Frieza Soldier Battle Suits.